All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are gonna be showcasing the Majin Power slash Power Absorption Team that I've been using a lot over the past couple of days on Global, having a ton of fun with it. And this team, I gotta say, is absolutely insane, man. I mean, it's essentially immortal. It can't be killed because there's so much healing. Like every single unit on this team can heal you either at the start of turn, at the end of turn, or with their super attack. And there's so much defense too, right? So a ton of tanking, like it just cannot be killed. It's so much fun to use. And the crazy thing is the JP version of this team is quite a bit better than the global version you're about to see. Because there's a few key Extreme Z Awakenings and Token Awakenings, like for the Fit Boo, for Good Boo, for Tech Majin Boo, so on and so forth, that we just straight up don't have on the global side right now, right? So it would have been better to showcase this team on JP for sure. But as you guys know, I'm a global guy, right? I'm always gonna rep the global side. So we're gonna make do with what we got on the global side of the game right now. And like I said, man, still an amazing team, even without those EZAs and Dokkan Awakening. So a quick breakdown of the team right now. We have my personal uh, LR boot tanks with no dupes. Would have liked a dupe of course, but I can't go back in guys. That banner is just so bad for me. Like I have every single unit rainbowed except for the boot tanks and the boo piccolo absorbed, but it's just, it's not worth it, you know? So he's gonna stay at 55%, still amazing though. And I'm bringing LR Cell, a bit of a weird pick, I know, cause he doesn't have a ton of synergy as far as links go with the rest of the team. But of course, he's an amazing unit, amazing tank, solid damage. And uh, because of the fact that both the boot tanks is actually give key plus four on their leader skill, um, Cell is still gonna be able to consistently get a super attack off, which is, a good thing, obviously. And then we have the Boo Piccolo Absorbed with two dupes, one of my favorite units in the game right now, along with the Tien. Actually, I think the Tien is better, but he's really good too. And we also have STR Android 21. Now, this is a unit that I don't get to use a ton, but she's actually still quite solid. Before, I was actually running the uh, EZA AGL Kid Boo, but like his defense just wasn't consistent enough for me and his healing was good but like it's just his defense was very very bad unless you gave him a ton of orbs but you can't always give him a lot of orbs so i think she's the better pick here at least for now i will sub her out for like one of those easy a boos or maybe agl fit boo once those come over to global and we also have the token awakened uh support super boo and finally we have the uh easy a ultimate gohan now his defense is also a little bit iffy, he does need quite a few orbs to actually get like good defense, but he gives you a lot of healing, gives you good damage, great linking partner for the boot tanks of course, so I feel like he definitely has earned a spot on the team. And finally, for the friend boot tanks, man, it's rainbowed, it's max link leveled. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to actually guess whose boot tanks this is before I say it, okay? So pause the video right now, go down to the comments, and tell me your prediction for who you think owns this boo tanks all right are you gonna do it are you done three two one it's the homie Goresh. okay so shout out to the homie Goresh for allowing us to use his rainbowed fully maxed boo tanks okay so let's jump into it and of course we're doing something different today we're doing the new stage of infinite dragon ball history with Bobby's army because i'm sure you guys are tired of seeing the legendary Goku event over and over and over again. I know I'm getting tired of actually running it over and over and over again for these videos. So yeah, we're changing it up a little bit. Um, I'm actually put sell the N here. Let's keep the boot tanks and the 21 together for now. Eventually, obviously, I want to get the two boot tank rotations, um, you know, in, in place. So it's going to be one rotation with boot tanks and Buhan, and then the other rotation with boot tanks and Boo Piccolo Absorbed. And then I'll be floating Cell, I'll be floating uh, E21, as well as, who else do I have on the team? Forgot. As well as somebody else that's on the team that I forgot now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the plan, that's the plan. So it's gonna be a super, super tanky team. You guys will see, like we're not gonna be fall falling below like, probably not below like 80% HP for most of the fight. Yo, look at Cell just taking 11 damage for the super, man. 
Oh, oh, I forgot about Super Boo. That's my bad, that's my bad. Yeah, the uh, Super Boo will be floated as well. So that's gonna be, this is gonna be a one rotation right here. That's a full 24k Super right there, perfect. And I just gave about seven orbs, I believe, to uh, to the Boo Hunt. He has 78,000 defense. So like I said, it's not the best defense. He can get over 100,000 um, if you give him a few more orbs, but yeah, I don't trust him too much. Actually, you know what? I probably, I probably should have put the Boo Tanks in the middle to take those attacks. But I kind of feel like Yamu and Spopovich are dead anyways. So it probably doesn't matter. We'll have to see. Oh, there's a, there's a crit right there. There's the... There was a crit. Okay, and then there's a super from Buhan. Should be dead. There we go. We're fine. It worked out. It worked out. Okay. So, uh, I think what I'm gonna do... So, the next time we see Buhan, we will be able to transform um, into Bu... Or, next time we see Bu tanks, well, we will be able to transform into Buhan, right? But I think I'm gonna keep them as Bu tanks for a few more rotations. Because obviously, in their boot tanks form, they can stack defense infinitely with their 18k super. So if you want them to be as tanky as possible near the end of the event, where you know it's important to be very tanky, then uh, I would definitely recommend to actually hold off on transforming for a little bit. For a little bit, obviously at the end, of, like at the very end, you do want to be Buhan for the max damage and uh, I think additional healing as well. But um, you know, earlier on, it's not really necessary to deal as much damage, and you want to get as much defense as possible. That's just my strategy, at least. That's my go-to, but obviously it's up to you. Yo, Boo, Ikolo, Boo Pickle. I know some people hate that when they, like, people join the names, so, like, some people call it Boo Ikolo, uh, as, as opposed to Boo Piccolo Absorb, but that's just too long, right? So I think Boo Ikolo is better, and, uh, you know, Boo Han for Boo Gohan Absorbed, Boo Tanks for Boo Go tanks absorbed. I've heard some people being like, yo, why are you calling them that? But like, that's just kind of the, I think, accepted name in the community, right? Like, that's what a lot of people call it, and I get it, right? Because it's much easier to say than saying, you know, boo, Piccolo absorbed, boo, Gohan absorbed, so on and so forth every single time. The only, only conjoined names that I really don't love, that really like kind of annoy me, is when people call Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3 Goku, one coup, two coup, and three coup. I think it sounds really weird to me, man. Like, I, I don't know. It's, it's not for me. It's not for me. Not saying that you shouldn't call them that. Not saying that it's wrong to call them that. All I'm saying is, it's not for me, right? And that that's fine. That's okay. Uh, dude. <laughs> Garesh's Bootanks already has 400,000 defense, guys. 400,000 defense. Buikolo with 132k. That's still really good. We do need to give uh, a few orbs to the Super Boo because uh, he's he's not going to be doing so hot with that little defense. So I'll just give one orb to Buikolo. Let's see how many we can give to Super Boo here. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, that might be it. Five orbs. Hopefully, we get a decent amount of defense. I'm going to say it's I'm going to say it's at least over 100k. If it's over 100k, we should be okay. We should be fine with 100k as long as he doesn't super us. He's probably gonna super us. That's just how it goes, man. That's just how it works. He's probably gonna super us. Yeah, so after this, I believe there is Dabura. There's also Bobbity. There's also Majin Vegeta. Or maybe Majin Vegeta first and then Bobbity. Bobbity's the only phase actually in this fight that's like kind of tricky because he supers you every single time he attacks, I'm pretty sure. I think it's every time. Yo, that close up, they knew what they were doing, man. They knew what they were doing with that close-up on Android 21. So she just transformed. She uh, has some defense. 85k is still not the best, but it's still better than the average you're going to be getting with the EZA Kid Boo, like the, the, the AGL one. So that's why I subbed her out or subbed him out for her. So I think we'll be fine here. I think we'll be fine. The thing is, like with this team, like I said, it, it, it's pretty much unkillable because as long as you're not getting killed, like straight up from full health or almost full health with a super, you will be able to like pretty much heal back up to full in a rotation because everybody's healing you, and especially with like the high uh, high defense guys. You know, the more defense you have, the more HP you're going to be uh, uh, receiving or recovering when you use same type orbs, right? So. With that healing, plus the healing from the passives, from the super attacks, this team just doesn't die. Like, it straight up just, just, it does not die. It just doesn't. Oh, crap. Man. 
he locked my cell. That's kind of annoying, man. That's kind of annoying. Okay, so cell has 194,000 defense, so he's fine. I just kind of want to keep my rotations together, but I'm not too concerned overall. Uh, Boo tanks with 402,000 defense right now without the support, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll be okay here as well. I just have to break up my rotations a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, the thing with Cell here is like, he, he's obviously at his best when he transforms, right? You have to be below 30% HP though. And he just is never transforming. Like I've used this team at least, I wanna say like 20 times or more, right? And I have never had Cell transform because you just never fall below that like, amount of HP. Like you're never falling below 30% HP. Like with this team, with all the healing, when are you ever gonna see that? When are you ever gonna see that? So yeah, Cell's here, I guess, just as like an insurance policy, really. <laughs> he's not he's not really here to like really do too much. Like if you need him to, like he can obviously, right? If you, if you really need him to, he will be able to give you that healing and that crazy damage once he gets the transformation. But you don't really need that because he's he's never gonna really be called upon with everybody else putting in the work with the heals and all that stuff. Okay, I think next turn, I think next turn, we're gonna be transforming into Buhan with uh, with Goresh's boot tanks, cause um, I'm excited to see what 100% max link level boot tanks is all about. Now I did notice he didn't have any skill orbs. I'm thinking he's just, he's just waiting to like get the good ones to uh, actually invest in in his boot tanks, but that's okay, not a huge deal. Um, still gonna be very good, I'm sure. Okay, so if I put this guy in the middle, um, I guess it doesn't really make a difference. They don't really share any attack links. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think every everybody has big bad bosses here, right? Uh, I mean, no, no, they have big bad bosses. Yeah, so we're good. Okay, so I'm going to transform boot tanks here. <laughs> Enjoy the animation. I think it's really dope, man. I should turn up the sound, but I haven't really figured out, like, why I can't get sound you know, through my phone, when I'm connected to the Elgato, it's kind of weird. Maybe something with my, with my settings or something like that, but yeah, no no audio, unfortunately, but you guys can still enjoy the animation. And I'm sure most of you guys have heard the uh, actual audio already anyway, so it's not a huge deal. All right, here we go. Uh, this should give us a... Actually, you know what? D does anything change if we put him in the middle? Oh, actually, you know what? He gets a little bit more attack. I guess a little bit more attack. Which link would that be? Not big bad bosses, because she has big bad bosses too. Um, hmm, okay. Well, either way, I guess I'll. You know, I guess I'll put Cell in the front first. Yeah, we'll put him in the front first. We'll give him a couple orbs there, so he can at least super. And then that should be almost a 24k super, 23k super for the boot tanks. And a super 421 as well. Okay, I'm just hoping that Cell. You know what? Cell's not gonna kill him. I was gonna say, yo, Cell, don't don't go off right now. All right, don't kill Debora because I want to see what the boot tanks can do. But Cell's not gonna do that. He's not gonna finish him off. All right, so 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 first attack 5.15 mil without support. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. All right, Debora's dead. It's a Bobbity. Oh no, it's Majin Medita. All right, so let's see. My, ooh, my boot tanks is actually pretty stacked up too. 429,000 defense. Obviously with double support, so it's a little bit skewed. But let's let's pop this active skill here. Let's pop this active skill here. Let's get the double double boot tanks going, or Buhan going rather, because at, at this level of defense, like we're not gonna be taking any damage for the rest of the turn or the rest of the event. So it's not really much of a more of a concern. Like I've already stacked up enough defense where I can feel safe about pretty much taking anything. Okay, here we go. So now we're up to 469,000. Nice defense. And let's see how we're gonna play this. Um, I guess just leave him in the front here. I'm a little bit worried about the super boo at the end, but if I, let's see, uh, if I do this, and then give him a bunch of HL orbs. That's one, two, three, four, five, six orbs. Should be safe. Should be safe. Oh, we just missed the token attack too. Just missed the token attack. All right, so my boot tanks with no dupes is getting up to 4.9 right now. And obviously the reason for that 
is because uh, we got the double support. So if we can get the... Whoa! Whoa! I did not expect that additional super to actually do that much. 3 mil on the additional super too. Damn. Okay, so there's this been this debate, right, in the community recently about who's better, right? Is it the Boo? Is it the Vegito? I personally think it, it is the Vegito. I, I do, I do, but I can't fault anybody for picking the Boo either because he's just such an amazing like all around unit, you know what I mean? Like he, he does everything, he does everything. His, his defense off the charts, his offense phenomenal, like still, like, he's like one of the hardest hitting units, like he's not the hardest hitting, but he's up there as his damage output is still very, very impressive. Oh damn, I messed up, <laughs> I messed up. So the Dokkan attack is actually, that hit really hard. Um, the Dokkan attack is actually going to go to the Buhan, like the, the end Buhan, because I didn't realize, I forgot. Like I forgot, I, I knew at the end of the last turn, but then as soon as the turn turned over, I forgot that we had the Dokkan attack ready to go. So uh, yeah, that's that's a bit of a waste right there. I think it's still going to be okay. We're probably still going to kill Majin Vegeta this turn, but it could have been a little bit more efficient. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's too bad. That's too bad. Um, either way, Majin Vegeta is dead. Like, this is going to kill him. Okay, no, the next attack is going to kill him. Cell is going to kill him. Maybe not, actually. I don't know. Cell Cell's not going to be doing... Actually, he has big bad bosses active now, so... His damage should be... You know, it should be pretty good. 2.2 mil, all right. It's not crazy, but there's a crit right there. He's almost dead. And look at that. Yeah, we're back to full again. Nothing to worry about. We did like have a tiny, tiny scare. Like for the briefest of moments where like our HP was below 50%, right? And now it's back to full again. So <laughs> as I said, man, this team cannot be killed. It is an immortal team and I love it. I love it. And I can't wait for the other boos to come through, man. With the good boo healing, with the... Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't remember if the tech Majin Buu actually can heal you, but I know his damage and def and his defense are both like really, really good, like quite insane actually. I can't wait for him. Um, if you want to include some like non Buu units, you can also include the uh, Super Seventeen with the Extreme Z Awakening. Like he could be a fit on this team as well. Like the, the thing I love, you know, aside from the fact that like, oh crap, actually, let me. I might have to take Boo Tanks off rotation. You know what? Let, let's let's take yeah, let's take the Super Boo off rotation. And there's no attacks here, so we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna actually just give a few to him because we should save all of these for the Super Boo just in case. Like I know both attacks are gonna be supers, so we should make sure he has as much defense as possible. But as I was saying, I forgot what I was saying actually. I completely forgot what I was saying. I was like, literally, I was on the train of thought and then I got distracted for a moment and now it's gone. Now it's gone. So I think I was talking about how the team's unkillable, right? I think I was. I think that was the topic we were on. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. So basically, yeah, no, the reason I love this team, um, there's many reasons, but one big one for sure is the fact that like the but the boos both give uh key plus four four key on their leader skills right so they're getting eight key no matter what at the beginning of each rotation so even if you bring some units that don't link too well with like the other units on your team you can still run them reasonably well right they can still work reasonably well because you're still gonna be able to get supers off right even starting at eight key all you need is four key from the board and you're good to go and if you even have like one key link activated, then that's going to be like 10 key to start, right? So it's going to be super easy to get attacks off in that case. So um, as far as like team synergy goes, because of how good the leader skill is, it's just uh, not as important in this case, right? Like it still matters, obviously. You still want to bring units that can link as well as possible with each other, but it's not as big of a consideration when you're thinking about like a team with, you know, only key plus three leaders where starting off with key, uh, six key is is much a bit much more of a problem than starting off with the starting off with eight key 
Okay, this should do it for Bobbity. And then we just have the good boo here. And that's gonna be the fight, guys. He's the final boss, right? I think so. The last time I f finished this stage specifically was like... Uh, I wanna say... When part 2 or part 1 first started, right? So that was like... A week and a half ago or something like that. So I don't remember all the enemies. Like, completely, I think. That he's the final boss, though. Look at that. 469,000 defense. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now the question is, who do I want to take out? I think I want to keep... I want to keep Buikolo. He also links better. Um, okay, cool. Oh, yeah. By the way, if you, if you didn't notice, yeah, my, my, my Boo is not maxed out as far as, like, links go either. He's got, like, some link levels. You know, he's, like, five, sixes and stuff like that. But definitely needs work. I definitely will put in that work because I love this team. And uh, it deserves the attention. You know, it, de it definitely deserves the... The time investment but i think what i'm gonna do is actually wait a little bit all right i think i'm gonna wait a little bit and wait for the easy A's to come through to like have like the the the, the optimal team that i want to run because i, I want to make this team all booze like i don't actually want to bring um incel you know like incel is awesome he does work here because of the leader skills but i want it to be an all boo team so I'm, i might wait until the easy A's come through and then, you know, be able to, like, run the the best version of this team that I want to run. And then farm their link levels. Right? I think it's more fun that way to, like, run a complete team. Or, like, farm a complete team. And have everybody's link levels, like, you know, going at once, right? But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it depends on how bored I get. Because, like, this celebration has been so dry. It's been so dead. That, like, I've been doing things that, like, I didn't think I was actually going to be doing. But sometimes when you get desperate enough, right? Um... You start doing things that like just like in the past were like oh that's boring like i've been i've been farming just like random units super attacks these days like i just like been finding like random units that like i never will use i never have used never will use and just been like farming their super attacks if they have farmable super attacks just because it's something to do that's literally it. it's just something to do i'm so bored <laughs> bandai please make part two good Please make part two good. All right, you gotta, you gotta. It's been so dry. Part one has been so bad. Um, and, and I still got hope. I still think there's a chance that they could make a recovery here. That's a lot of damage, dude. Damn. Yeah, that, that, that actually was, was good damage. But as you can see, we healed back up to like 80% HP from like 30%. So <laughs> dying is never really a concern with this team. Dying is really never a concern with this team. Uh, let's see, so I think that's actually more key, right? Be more key. And let's heal up a little bit there. And she can also steal super. And I think this is the fight, guys. I think this is the event. No items, didn't even have to really break a sweat. I was barely paying attention to the gameplay, to be honest. I was more focused on talking to you guys. But I just wanted to show you guys like how, how awesome this team is, how fun it is. If you guys haven't given it a shot yet, um, give it a shot. You know, try try to build a team similar to this, or maybe even a little bit better. If you're on JP, you can definitely build a better team. You, can def you definitely can with those easy A's and awakenings. I can't wait for those to come through. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Hopefully it's not a Kale and Khalifa situation. But I, by the way, that's ridiculous. That is a ridiculous situation. I just want to put that out there. Okay, Bandai. Kale and Khalifa. Extremes the Awakenings, we all want them, you guys know that we want them, you guys know they should have given it to us during the Kefla campaign, but for some reason we didn't get it, and they even had the audacity, they had the audacity to put Kaelin Khalifla in the red coin shop, or the red uh, dragonstone shop, and not release their Extreme Z battle during part 1 of the celebration. It's gotta be coming for part 2, right? It's gotta be coming for part two. I mean, there's no guarantee, but it's it's gotta. They have to. There's there, there's no way they're gonna hold off on us for, an, for for like another like how long? Like a couple months maybe. Like I heard somebody say that, you know, they're saving it for the um, Christmas celebration, like around the time where Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, um, the LR, the Fizz LR comes through and also LR Jiren like around that time 
that's when they'll come to global because of the theme, the celebration tournament of power, which I guess would make sense, but that's just that's just way too long, guys. That's just way too long. I can't wait that long. So hopefully we get them during this celebration because we're overdue at this point. And hopefully we get the Boo Easy Is and the Boo Awakening sooner than later. But anyways, that, that was a random rant right there. Side note, let's get back to the focus at hand. And uh, there you go, my friends. There you go, my friends. The Majin Power slash Power Absorption Team led by the new LR Boo Tanks. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely ridiculous, man. It, it can pretty much no item every single event in the game that allows you to run this team, right? So obviously when it comes to like super battery restrictions, if you can't use these units, then that's a bit of a problem. But like if you use like some of these guys on like, you know, like extreme only super battle road or something like that, you just have to make a few modifications here and there. Um, it can still probably carry you through pretty easily. So give this team a shot, wherever you can use it. Let me know how it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is gonna be today's video. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much once again for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.